We are just 30 seconds away from the brand new Shapeshifters promo that EA is about to drop. I'm really excited to see what we're going to get. Let's do it. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. All right, 6 p.m. I'm waiting on Twitter. We're going to grab some packs opened. Uh, I'm guessing we're getting... Uh, we're getting lightning rounds, as always, 50k lightning rounds. We're going to open them first in the hopes that the first pack is going to give us a shapeshifter. And then we're going to look at what we're going to get. So it's going to be like a really cool surprise. And then the first pack, sadly, no shapeshifter. Uh, however, I'm going to refresh Twitter until we see a tweet from EA telling us exactly what we're getting. We've got an A5 in the first pack, though. Not too bad. I'm looking forward to this promo. I think this could be really cool. Uh, it's going to add a lot of uh, dynamics to different squads, I feel like. Hopefully, we get some cool upgrade packs. As you can see, my club is Filled with rares, so we'll have to see. Um, EA just tweeted out. Oh, what? Okay. Um, interesting. So, this is what we got. Shapeshifters. We've got a center forward Messi, a Cam Marcelo, a CDF David Luiz. Wow. A right wing Ben Yedda, a left wing Mertens, a Cam Mares, a right uh, mid Lucas Mora, um, a center back Condogbia. A centre-back Idris Agana, a striker Atal, CDM Mbabu, right-back Hedboa, uh, left-back Renato Sanchez, Cam Keynes, and C uh, centre-back Nandez? What a... Okay, that's actually kind of, like, crazy. Uh, that's better than I was expecting. That's just Team 1 as well. Fair enough. And they've got massive boosts as well, so a lot of those cards are going to be very, very usable. Damn. Okay. Well, we'll see if we can pack one. Hopefully we can. And if we do, hopefully it's messy. That's what we're looking for. That is crazy. There's a lot of incredibly good usable cards here. So, you know, David Luiz at CDM is standing out to me straight away. That's going to be a fantastic card to use at CDM. Um, Cam Marcelo. I think more of a CDM Marcelo. The good thing about it is a lot of players like, for example, Atau can now be used at CDM. You know, there's a lot of centralized players that were out on the left and right. So that's pretty decent. We've got a walkout here. It's going to be Italian. It's going to be a center forward. It's going to be Insigne. Sadly, not the Napoli player we're looking for here. Um, I think the main one, though, is probably going to be that, that center forward Messi. That's going to be the one that drags a lot of attention. I think a lot of people are going to be... Uh, a lot of people that have a lot of coins are going to be going for that card. As it's a centralized Messi, you could play it on Chem at Cam or center forward or something like that, which is pretty cool. No shapeshifter in that pack. But no, that, that, I mean, it looks cool, don't get me wrong. I think the main thing about promos that EA need to get right, in my opinion, is definitely, um, they've definitely got to go for uh, the good objectives and the good SBCs. And it looks like we've just had uh, a really good objective card. So we've got, this is an objective card. Uh, it's an Akuna card. Um, 87 rated center mid. Interesting. I don't know if I'm the, I mean, it's cool. I kind of liked how his other card got the link with uh, Bataglia, though. Um, I mean, he still can get the link with Bataglia, but, you know, uh, he's still a really decent card, though. Don't get me wrong. It's just we've already had a special card of that card, so it kind of is a little bit, like, boring, in my opinion. Um, but still decent. Still decent. Don't get me wrong. Still not got a shapeshifter in a pack, though. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for a shapeshifter in a pack. Is it going to be a green flare? I don't even know. I don't even know if I like a green flare. I mean, I think it'll look all right. I don't know if I'll, uh, I don't know if I'll be the biggest fan though. Just look like snot dripping down or something. I don't know. Um, but we got, what, five 50k packs left? Come on, EA. Come on, EA. Show us a shapeshifter. Come on. Yes, we got one. Come on, Messi. Go on. You know you want to. It's Condogbia. Send him, send him back Condogbia. We got one though. I'll happily take that, mate. I'll happily. Happily take that. That card looks really good. Center back. Very interesting. Uh, don't know if it will sell for much or not. I have no idea, but I guess we can have a look. No way it's going to sell for like four or five hundred K. Uh, I might try and get a cheeky three hundred K sale. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to this card. I always sell the card. This one I'm gonna hold on to for a little while. It's a center back with four star skills as well. So very interesting indeed. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna store him in the club and hold on to him for now. Um, and and hey, mate, I'm happy we got one though. I am very happy we got one. Let's go, dude. That is a good one as well. It could have been one of the 84 or 85 rated ones, but that's actually a decent one, so I'm happy about that. That is a good card to get. I'm very, very happy about that. Very happy. Very nice card indeed. Uh, Sturridge is back in the game as well. Uh, so is Ribery. Oh, we got ourselves a pack pool to Galo. I need to get rid of my tradable one. We'll, 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 get, we'll get rid of the one that I bought, and we'll keep the pack pooled one. 
Um, yeah, Sturridge and Ribery have been added to the game as well, for you, for those of you that didn't know. Um, as you saw there, Sturridge and, uh, and Ribery. Hopefully, I mean, we'll probably pack him at some point because he's quite low rated. But yeah, mate, I'm happy with that. I am very happy with that. That's decent. The only thing that I've just seen, though, is that people are going to get trolled thinking they got Mahrez and get a Tal. I think that would be kind of annoying for people, but hey. Uh, we've got two packs left. I'll be very surprised if we get anything good in the last two, but uh, we'll see. What's that going to be? So a normal board. I don't know why the lights were so big in that one. It's going to be Argentine. Not the Argentine we're looking for. We're looking for another centralized Argentine, to be honest. That is what we are looking for. Um, but yeah, I mean, EA just said that there's going to be a Team 2 as well, because it's only Team 1. So interesting. I'm going to have a look at some of the uh, cards in game as well, because that's one thing I do want to look at, is some of the in-game stats. You know, is Marcelo going to be a decent cam? Uh, have they changed stats to fit that position? We'll have to see. Uh, the last pack is going to be a normal board. Unfortunately, not a shapeshifter here, but cannot complain. We did, in fact, get ourselves one. So very happy about that. Very happy about that indeed. Um, we'll store in the club. Store you on the transfer list. Discard the rest. Saw Yunchu with an upgrade there as well, I think. Um, and let's go have a look at some players. Now, first of all, do we have any new SBCs? That is the first thing I'm interested in. we got a Cam Mkhitaryan. Five-star week for four-star skills. Damn, those in-games are insane as well. 87 agility, 91 balance, 83 composure is good, 83 finishing, great passing, great dribbling, good pace. This is a card I think I actually want to do. Uh, 85 and an 85. That's not bad. That's actually pretty good value as well. I'm going to favorite that because I want to do it. Uh, in terms of live though, do we have anything else? Any new... Um, we've got a shapeshifters challenge for gold players pack. Um, marquee moments. Anything else? Is that it? Looks like that's it. Looks like that's it. So we just got marquee moments and things like that, really. So not too bad. We also have the play of them with Neymar, obviously. Uh, I want to actually have a look at some of the cards in game, though. Try out one of the foot sh foot twenty shave shifted. What? We got a five lone player pick. Okay, we get to try out one of these cards. Who do we get to try out? Well, I mean, this is the card I'm going to be trying out, one hundred percent. Uh, six foot two. This card looks insane, dude. This is going to be such an insane CDM. I might have to sell my prime uh, Vieira for this card. I'm going to as well, I think, because I've got I've got Pele that will get the link. So I'm actually going to. I think I'm actually going to buy this card and sell my uh, my Vieira. Obviously, if it's good. Uh, we've got Adrissa, who's got nice stats. Five foot nine, quite small. Um, although I'm a big fan of uh, agile centre backs, seventy two strength kind of lets him down a lot. Uh, Atal. Looks all right. I mean, 91 finishing, 83 composure. It's kind of like, what was that promo they did where they upped certain stats to make the card usable in that position? Uh, I don't even remember. Um, but, I mean, there you go. It's like it's pretty similar to that, to be honest. They're actually giving them stats for that position. Uh, I don't know where this guy used to play, but he's now a centre-back. He's, what, 5 for 8, so another agile centre-back. Uh, and obviously come Dogby, who we've already packed. I'm going to take uh, David Luiz here. I do want to try that card out as well. He will fit into my team. So I, that's a card I'm very interested in trying out. Um, but I want to see a couple of the in-game stats for some of these cards, to be fair. Because looking at them, I would I would have hoped they have upped in-game stats to, to sort of actually seem super usable. I want to see Marcelo, first of all. Marcelo is a card that I actually want to look at. Uh, where is he? Cam Marcelo. So he's obviously got five-star skills, four-star weak foot. Good pace. Good agility and balance. His physicals are great as well. Finishing 84, 89 composure. That's actually not bad at all, to be fair. This is actually a really usable cam. Really usable cam or a really usable centre mid as well. He'd be fantastic in centre mid. This is also a card I might pick up. You know what I might do? I might put Marcelo here and then look to maybe get David Luiz. As... Oh, wait, no, I need the French link with Kante, don't I? Oh, I could, swap, I could swap these two around, and then I don't need the French link to Kante, and then I could get David Luiz at CDM. Let me know in the comments down below if you would. Now, looking at the other players I want to quickly look at in-game stats for, uh, I want to look at Ben Yedder's stats, but I also want to look at um, I want to look at Mbabu's stats. Where is he? Mbabu. I want to see the stats for this card uh, as a CDM. Wow, they've looked at agility and balance. Uh, fantastic physicals. Good uh, defensive stats. Wow. They've actually, they've actually smashed that. Fair enough. They've actually, they're actually giving them really usable stats in their positions. Uh, Hatboard's going to have a, a good right back card. Finally, a good city, a right back that everyone can use. Uh, he'll probably be quite expensive, but 
Very phenomenal looking card there as well. Uh, you cannot complain about that. Uh, Renato Sanchez has got a left back card. Uh, Mares has a cam card. And finally, we've got a really good uh, Premier League cam to use as well. Uh, we've been struggling to find one of those five star skills for our week for incredible stats in game as well. Um, that this is this is impressive. I'm actually very impressed by this uh, by this promo with EA. I'm very impressed. Uh, what's Benyeda looking like here? 90 rated right wing, five star week for four star skills. Mate, that's kind of gross. That's kind of gross. And the good thing about this as well, I think, like, it's bad and it's good at the same time. Because a lot of people are getting messed, messed out of uh, their, you know, if people are, uh, are owners of the Play of the Month Ben Yedda or they've got the ones to watch, you know, it's like another Ben Yedda card and, it, you know, you don't get to use it out of position and stuff. But if you're playing with Mbappe and Neymar and Ben Yedda, you can use a 4-3-3 now and get the links with all three of them at the top and you don't need links in the center mid spot. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and the last one that I want to actually have a quick look at is Acuna or Acuna. I don't know how to say this guy's name. Uh, I want to have a look at this card as well. Uh, four star skill to three star weak foot. What we got? 81 pace, pretty decent. Good agility and balance. Good physicals. Uh, good passing stats. Decent long shots. Um, decent. 91. The only thing that annoys me a little bit is that I'm pretty sure this guy had a left wing card, didn't he? He has this card as well. And it's like so similar in stats. So similar. What is the point in going out and doing the objective if you already have this card, in my opinion? Uh, like... And this one was cheap as well. So, like, what's the point in going and getting this one when you can get the perfect link to Pataglia, in my opinion? Uh, but that's just, like, my opinion with that card. The rest of them looks really good. I am 100% getting this card, though. This is a card I'm definitely getting. Uh, how much do you go for? Let me have a look. Marcelo, what are you going for, lad? Uh, I need to have a look at Cam here. He might be extinct, to be honest. No, he's not. What's he going to go for? He'd probably go for about a million coins, I reckon. I reckon he'd be around a mil. Still is a fantastic card. Definitely worth it in my opinion. I've been looking for a good left centre mid and I think he's going to fill that slot. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. We managed to pack one and I'm over the moon that we did. Uh, so thank you all for the epic support on the channel and I'll see you lads later.